Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Monster Train. I just wanted to play a run. It wasn't even the number one vote on today's poll, but we played as the Primordium Champion last time, which was a lot of fun. There's still a few champions we haven't played as, but that's the one I wanted to play. Now we'll just random. Do we really have a win streak of five? That's not bad. Awoken, an alt Hellhorn Champion means a lot of imps, and a very fantastic tank that we can hopefully keep alive and just use ideally spikes to wreck everything. Although maybe we want the reinforcement champion, the cultivation champion. We'll see. Seraph the Diligent, always annoying. Regen restores more or units get an extra upgrade slot. Probably units get an extra upgrade slot. Regen is nice on the restores, but I want to build big units. Days, enemies on the top floor, more armor. We don't need armor if we have HP. Removing buffs from enemies is usually pretty nice. And we don't get the option for spikes. So I might go for cultivation. It's a draw bonus. Whenever this champion gets hit, someone on the floor gets plus one, plus one. It's not bad. It's not great. But with more unit upgrade slots, maybe we can make a, a sweep unit. Ah, but if, if we make a sweep unit that's quick, the champion won't get hit. We need the champion to get hit every turn to buff. Hey, Moobler, choo choo. How are you doing, Mooby? Can I call you that? Or is it Sir Moobster? I'm just gonna play you at the top. We want more time to draw the imps. Ooh, ooh. Luckily, I can do some damage. Now, the sentient. If they're not getting hit, they're not cultivating. I think I'm fine with that. We'll just buff our train steward. I guess we'll just stack up regen. I don't know, the, the cultivation champion is very wild to me because it is almost like you're playing a couple of different types of runs. How are you not? Oh, you trample. That's annoying. Because you want the champion to get hit. I guess that's just it. We want our champion to get hit. Let's try to focus making our champion hittable now. Okay. All right, you're dead. Every hit on the champion is buffing a unit on the floor by plus one, plus one. So we're looking for a nice, heavy, multi-strike unit, I think. Now sharpen its spikes on the champion. I think you gotta take it. On a multi-striker, Ritual of Battle is really nice, but Horn Break, targeted damage spells in the back is good to have, but we do have a Molting Imp. We have two of them. Let's take the Rage. I'm taking Horned Warrior. I know I just said that we wanted a sweeper, but then I thought about it and realized we don't, do we? We want a unit with multi-strike to get buffed via the Sentient, I think. We need, because if we have a few cards in the deck that give spikes, Sentient can just kill the spikers, or the, the weak units when they hit, not the spikers. So yeah, I think that's fine. Bad, bad, bad rolls there. Fifteen plus fifteen plus one and spikes ten. Shattered shell sweep slay plus three. Multi strike and fragile. That's pretty pretty bad. Like we could take. <laughs> you know we could make an endless molting imp 
with summon effect, deal 15 damage to enemy units inside of it. Something with our money. <clears throat> I think you gotta take it because it's a sweeper. A sting every turn. It's pretty good. We've got draw sorted. <laughs> If we endless a molting imp, it's coming back every turn. But do we want that? Because we want the enemies to hit our champion, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Shattered shell having more damage helps it to get kills early. I think we can start there for 10. It also give you rage, but I want to save upgrades on the Horned Warrior. I think he needs more. Although we could give him rage, and that's not a bad opening move. Helps him to do a little bit more damage. All right, Horned Warrior, you're getting rage. Shattered Shell, you're getting damage. And I don't know what we're doing with this run right now, but hopefully we'll figure it out later. Enemy units get spikes. It's not a big deal. The sweep sucks because it's going to uh, kill our backline units, but maybe we can just buff one of our units enough that they'll be able to sustain on the fight. Probably not because our other unit has 5 HP. 5 HP. Well, at least you're going to get some kills. Okay. So Horned Warrior will not die if I play him up there. You sweep, you're getting pretty low. Horned Warrior will die hitting the spikes. So we do need like two imps up front, then a Horned Warrior. You know what? The Horned Warrior doesn't matter. He's gonna die. When the boss comes out. So maybe we don't care about him at all. Maybe we instead care about just trying to keep everyone here healthy, wealthy, and wise. And if we can kill the boss before this guy moves up, you're not hitting the pyre, right? So we'll spike you up. Heal. And do 10 damage. What's happening down here? You're only taking 85. That's not that much. However... You're both dying to spikes, which means we're not getting a slay trigger. I think we just buff up you. 178. Sting doesn't stop you. Okay, I mean, we're gonna kill you. You're gonna make it past. If it wasn't for the sweep though, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> I knew he was gonna die. The oh no was more of just like him coming out there, like I'm going, I'm coming for you. Oh no! Fine grasp, glimmer, steel enhancer. We don't really need glimmer. It's a good addition, though. Molting imp is kind of a glimmer, but we don't actually have spells that can hit the back line. Hidden Passage is pretty good to make up one super floor, so I do like that. Middle floor final fight seems appropriate. We could go for a unit or spell upgrades. Spells don't really matter. They all kind of suck. Units are probably better. Relics are probably better. It's like a free relic or... one or two major upgrades. I mean, what are we looking for? Not consume, don't care. Cheaper, sure. Holdover, maybe. X cost cards get plus three to their value, or enemy units get minus one. 
We don't have X's, so we'll take enemy units, get minus one, bit of a whiff. I do like a steel worker, but demon fiend seems good for the meld. Like put that inside of a horned warrior. The plus 30 health means that he's not gonna get the cultivation that fast or in shattered shell. We don't need armor, so we'll take Demon Fiend and we'll do a we'll do a meld. I like build a card. Offensive or defense? Let's make defensive card with regen. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what? Descend could be good. Increasing capacity on the floor doesn't matter now, so we'll just take more gold. Yes. Regen 4 descend gold. So we can play it on an enemy unit, or we can play it on our units and make one big floor. A little bit of regen doesn't really matter too much, I suppose, but... I suppose it's not too bad. Push sucks. It sucks. I mean, it just, it sucks. Like, it really sucks. <laughs> Whatever, we can push you to the bottom. You're dying is not ideal. I mean, I, I can't stop you from dying. I think we're toast. I think we're absolutely toast. I think we need you to be down there. I think we really do. Unfortunately, if... Well, it, even if I put down an imp, you're gonna hit my champion because the imp is gonna die, probably. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I can kill you with this thing. I can kill you with an imp. Waves remaining three. You'd have to stay on the same floor twice or not go to the bottom. But you're at the bottom, you're gonna push my unit forward. No, actually wait, hold up. What if we move? <laughs> okay. What if we move out of the way and then we just descend when we draw the descend card again? <laughs> you know, there's something to that. There is something to that. It's weird, but could work. Um, regen is nice. I also like just tossing down a couple of imps, doing some damage. I mean, they're gonna make it to the pyre. I can't really stop them. I mean, I think you play a train steward so that you have the cultivation triggers on something. Ah, but what does it freaking matter? We really need him. I could give you rage. No, 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 no. Believe. 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 All right, uh, everyone's dying. We're doing basically no damage. We are going to lose, and it's not even close. <laughs> Why does this run suck so much? And uh, what can we do to prevent this in the future? I don't know. I guess maybe just take a better champion. The champion that we took was functionally useless. I mean, it is the hardest version of this champion. Okay, what are we? We're Awoken Exile Hellhorn? Okay, go back. New run, Awoken with the Exile Hellhorned. 
Try it again. Try it again. Glimmer Fledgling Imp awake. Seraph the Patient. Regen restores more per stack. Maybe we'll actually go for, especially with awake, better regen. Multi strike demons are pretty good. Summon random units is also good because you can just make big units. But let's just make the demon units better. And what do we have here? It's the same option. I'm, I'm, no. Like, there's cool things you can do with Revenge Cultivate. But it's just not good enough. The draw is a weird addition to the card, but cultivation buffing other units on the floor when you get hit, it's, it's anti-synergistical because it means that if you have a sweep unit, if you have quickness and you, you, you do enough damage to kill all the units, you're not getting buffed. Kind of reminds me a little bit of having quick draft with Little Fade, who you want to die constantly. If you can't kill Little Fade, you're not going to be doing the damage that you want to be doing. So I think I'm just going to say, screw that. <laughs> I'm going to play up here. And we're just going to build up revenge on our champion. And by revenge, I mean uh, not revenge. We're going to build up uh, regen, not revenge. I mean, we can, we can slow him down. And because regen heals more, we can hopefully keep our units going longer. Now, you guys are very annoying. Rage five. You're gonna, I can't kill the unit in the back. You're gonna do one damage to the pyre. Play, play, play. Regen five. We're gonna kill one. Kill? Kill, we can kill them all. Why wouldn't we? There you go. It barely works, but it gets the job done. Hopefully we draw awake again. No, we didn't, but actually, the restores might be better. 149. He might hit the pyre once or twice. I'm not running the math. Oh, right, because of trample, he killed all the imps at once. That's fine. That's not bad at all. Steel Enhancer, Razor Sharp, Sharpen. I think we'll go Razor Sharp, try to build a big unit that comes out later. Especially if that big unit eventually is, and we'll take a, an ascend so we can build a big floor. Hopefully that big unit is a nice big demon. So you know what? Seems like a good time for the alpha fiend, right? Yeah, yeah. We don't need armor, we have heals. At least demon fiend can last a little while, can't he? And it's a very good upgrade if, or very good uh, meld, if we get the Animus. We can just put the Animus in the Alpha Fiend. Lowers the damage, but we'll have the Strike doing damage. We have to give him a attack, but we can, we can make that happen. I think we'll just go to the Merchant of Steel. Have a good night, Ashen Ran. Thanks for being here. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with that. I mean, this is this is actually what we wanted, isn't it? And then we'll just make you have 20 attack, and when we meld, you'll have five attack. But you have four, four attacks. Weird, but like, pretty good. If we dupe the unit, that's our entire run already done right there. We don't need any more units. 
That's cool. We gotta get rid of the imps we have, but... It's like right now... Yeah. Yeah, I like this run. That demon fiend is gonna hit like a freaking truck. We're not gonna have the problem we had last time of not being able to actually like... <laughs> not being able to... Uh, kill the boss. We're not gonna have that problem. You're all dying. And we, we want the Demon Fiend to attack, we don't just want spikes. We're right, I guess it's not spikes, it's explosive, but maybe we can luck into him having like a quick move or something later. God, this is so much better. <laughs> He was hitting for 65 at the end there, per hit. We'll definitely take regen. I'm not normally a big fan of regen in this situation, but I think it's acceptable here. Because we have double effect of regen. Enemies tend to hit really freaking hard, but we have a lot of freaking defense. Endless. If we could make a quick unit, I would like that. You know what? I'm gonna re-roll immediately. We got quick. Now we can look for a sweeper. We didn't get one, and I don't really want the animus. I'd much rather just meld and then duplicate the unit that we have. We don't need an animus. We already have an animus that grows stronger every attack. Do we need it to be quick? Not really. Yeah, no, I think we can skip. One unit build incoming. Plus two damage on slay. We're already getting five on an attack, but two on slay could be good. Much better on a sweeper. I wish I could put quick on you. Armor five. I guess we'll take two damage on a slay. We could get the uh, plus one upgrade on units here. We didn't, but we could've. Umbra, Stygian, Melting Draft. Why, why even give me this as an option? You know, uh, spells would be nice. Blazing Bolts is fine. We don't really want to give him multi-strike. He already has a lot of multi-strike. One extra attack at the cost of all of our energy. What about taking a Blazing Bolt so you have a better spell? We need to upgrade spells at some point, but that'll happen later. Yeah, okay. Tell us the Architect. Please tell me you're not pushback. No. I think the pushback Talos is like the hardest boss in the game, almost. Like, it's really freaking hard. I'm willing to do this. There's no sweepers. Really wish we could ascend you, but that's fine. We'll just uh, wipe this floor. You know, we don't really need to do this. Is it worth more killing a clergyman? We're probably going to get a heal next turn. If we don't, <laughs> we're going to have a bad time. But no, I figured we'd get one. We're gonna take 14 damage by playing a Restore. We'll take 14 damage by playing an Awake. Why does this buff you? You're getting the kill. That's funny. Well, it means we hit the boss another time with the Alpha Fiend, that's kinda nice. Kinda just wanna play the Wildwood Sap though. That's real funny. I didn't think that would happen that the explosive trigger gives you the the damage buff. That's kind of cool. Anyways. 
Man, we have so much garbage in this deck. I guess we're gonna give you another buff. Why not? Just <laughs> slowly working through the imps. Slowly removing them from the deck permanently. Well, not permanently, unfortunately. You know what I would love? I would love that relic. Units that die get removed. We could get so much done with that. Man, Alpha Fiend. What a beast. Spreading spores is kind of nice. But I think I want Alloy of the Ancients in order to give our Alpha Fiend armor so that he maybe doesn't die to spikes. Could make this free though. Regen restores more per, per, per stack. You know what? I think we do want spreading spores. Let's give it a shot. It's been a while. It's been a while. I don't think we want a unit. I think we do want draw. Oh my god. This is exactly what I wanted. At end of turn, deal four damage to friendly units. We don't need this. We want to purge every imp and train steward out of the deck for free. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards we can purge out of the deck with this. Now, if. Don't take a bow. Don't take a bow. If we lose our our unit, I'm gonna be very sad. So let's try not to lose him. Plus 10 attack and rage 10, multi-strike 1. Rage on friendly units adds an additional plus 3 attack per stack. We don't have any rage cards. We're just mo mostly attacking to buff. Otherwise, I would take him. Instead, I'm going to skip. I think that... A Blazing Bolts having Piercing is nice. A Glimmer having Piercing is also pretty good. But we have uh, we have things to do, like... Sacking the Animus, putting it in the Alpha Fiend. It starts with 5 damage, but it's going to scale with its multi-strike. Double stack plus 1. Regen 10 is... Pretty good. Magic power, a glimmer, minus one on. I'd like this to be minus two, so we'll just make a wake cheaper, reroll. It's kind of hoping for a holdover. Permafrost, I really like on Hidden Passage, but we don't have another unit to play right now. We could put it on Glimmer and then um, we can put it on this Glimmer and then give it magic power and piercing. So we can hold it until it's important and then play it. I do like that. But wouldn't we rather, if we can get a second Demon Fiend, just take a hidden passage? I mean, eventually this Demon Fiend is going to be doing so much damage at one shots things, but it might take a while for that to happen, right? I think we can. Maybe you save the money? One cost awake, pretty good. I think a piercing glimmer is fine. We're gonna buff our champion with even more rejuvenation damage. I think I'm gonna save my cash. Well, you should probably spend it, right? I don't think there's anything worth spell chaining. <laughs> oh, 
I'll just permafrost hidden passage. It's something you're gonna want permafrosted if you're not gonna use it immediately. Spikes four. So Alpha Fiend, we have to make sure he stays alive. We can give him some regen and we can kill pasted units with some of the spells that we have, but I think I'm gonna keep this off. I just wanna make sure that we can survive until we purge all of the units out of our deck and then we can go from there. Now, I, I wish I could play this with Alpha Fiend and Sentient. We can't. That's disappointing. But you can get purged. Everything up here is dying. It's pretty good. In that case... Kill another imp. We're taking a lot of damage here. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> and that saves a lot of health. Let's get these, let's get the train stewards out. They gotta go. They're probably worth killing over the imps. The imps are at least damage. Uh, we have an imp and a train steward still. Need to play Glimmer if I'm gonna kill you. Here's what I like here. It kills everything, that's actually very good. So we'll do this. I think I will ascend you, just to buy us a little bit more time. Because I wanna stack up more region for this floor, maybe uh, yeah, Razor Sharp, that's what I was hoping for. Still think you gotta play the train steward. So the whole point of doing this is that we can kill our units, right? So again, similar vein, I think we haste we remove you so we have more time to play imps. And you don't even do that much damage. I'm gonna kick your ass. The cards suck, but. We do 400 damage per attack. You're not gonna make it. Okay. So we're down to a 20 card deck all of a sudden. <laughs> and we have one more fight with this wheel. Select to remove up to two cards, Merchant of Magic. Is that money? Hold on. 75 bucks. I think we'll go to the right to get a free artifact. The Merchant of Magic is nice. But we'll probably just hell hellvent our unit right here at the very end anyways. I wouldn't mind adding another Awake but if we've got spreading spores, we can rely on that. I think branding right's okay. Something that can apply a little bit more armor to our uh, demon fiend, keep him alive. Free sting every turn. I like it for the draw, I do. Oh, I do like conscription notice. I wish I could afford it. Build a card. All right, so it's gonna be similar to what we just had. Let's make a card we can play on our champion or our demon fiend. So armor. Armor heal or armor buff? Heal is damage on our champion, but a buff is damage up. Let's take a heal, an armor and a heal card. So it's a card that keeps, keeps you alive and don't add any of these effects to it. Although if we make it a pull, nah, leave it be. It's a garbage heal card, but it's, damn it, it's mine. Spell chain, again, I really want minus two on the spreading spores. 
Game's not giving it to us. Magic power and piercing. I'm going to add that to the glimmer. So we've got two of them. We don't need to engage pack. There's only three units left in the deck now. I love it. I'm really not that worried about Crystal Cloak, and I'm not worried about giving units armor. If we stack up enough regen, they can't do anything. So we're just going to try to focus on getting 10 regen, and then all of the stealth doesn't matter. I think here, I wouldn't mind splitting you. a lot of damage but Glimmer kills the Collector and we gotta get rid of these imps. We can wait on the imps for them to shuffle though. And we need to get the we need to get the restores out too for regen. How much damage is it? 40? You know what? It's gonna be 5 10, 15, 20. So 75 damage. This kills the collector. So I could wipe you. You're not going to kill my champion, though. So I think I'm actually just going to have you kill one of my imps. How much multi-strike on that beast? What the heck says eye shadows? He's got mo times four. He's a freaking beast, isn't he? So we're gonna stack up regen. We're gonna stack up regen. I see this guy with spikes up here, though. Kind of annoying. I want to glimmer down here just to weaken him and kill the backliner. Because we've got another Glimmer coming up, I'm going to do just that, and uh, I'm going to get more regen. I do worry about the boss. I want to make sure we can handle that. Okay. Everyone's dying. Perfect. Old Magic is just a better branding ride at this point. Give you the armor. Give you the regen. Hello. Stealth 10, 14 damage. So we need 7 regen. But we actually need 17 to get around the stealth. We will do it. We'll do it. I think we'll do it. Just keep it going. We gotta play this Blazing Bolt at some point, but it's not a super, like, important play. All of the imps are... We have one imp. Most of the imps are currently gone. Let's see. We want... Sting. Spreading Spores is regen 2, restores regen 2. So I guess we'll do uh, Spreading Spores, because it gives us spikes. You're not going to kill me. We've already gotten enough damage. We have enough healing. You can't get around this HP. But I can't play the last Imp, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. Nice. Nice. Pretty rare to get large amounts of multi-strikes on him. I mean, we do have Gurg's Goad for plus one multi-strike. We gave him plus one multi-strike, and the Animus Essence gave him plus one multi-strike. So we are giving him a lot of multi-strike. Which is fair. It's what we want. We want the multi-strike. An Impish Scholar does give us Wildwood Sap. There you go. That's that's my 
upgrade. Friendly non non morsel units get endless. Game over, man. Game over. Yo, I just added an imp to which that's a perfect compliment. That's amazing. That's actually incredible. We'll get this every turn. Hell yeah, brother. So do we want removal? We don't really need removal. Concealed caverns could be good, but I kind of just want spell upgrades now. We don't need to dupe the unit now. We can dupe it later. This is what I wanted, finally. Minus two on spreading spores. And an intrinsic hidden passage means we can guarantee a double demon fiend floor, so. I think that's, that's good enough to grab. It's interesting enough to grab. It's the unit essence of this. 40 damage, who cares? That's not important enough. Double stack plus one. Regen 4 for 1 is actually pretty good. I think I'll, I'm okay with that on Spreading Spores. Minus 1, we'll put this on Wildwood Sap. We want it to be cheap. Plus 10 magic power. Yeah. The restores we could probably remove at this point. We don't really need them. But. Bigger temporary heals, not a bad idea. Could put it on Blazing Bolts, but Blazing Bolts is not really that important right now either. Virgicar. I will pay to remove that in. This is a solid run. So much better than the other champion. Yeah, I know, I know a lot of people don't like Alpha Fiend. I like him. I think he's good. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna make all of my spells expensive, but... I wanna get the regen out immediately. It's, we still have a bit of a hard time on the Seraph fight, but if we have an, if we have a sentient that is endless, we can replay it technically. We need more energy. We'll, we'll 100% go energy after this. Thank you for not playing that on me. I uh, don't play that there. Guess we'll uh, buff your damage and... I think this is fine. Keep the regen going. Normally I'm not a big regen fan and yet here we are. You're not in Cant, but you're also all dead. Play these down here. Um, suppose we can buff your damage again. Give you more armor, keep you alive. And we still have a Glimmer, so... Yeah. Architraz, welcome back. You're back seemingly with two additional cats. Why do you have cats? Or is the question more like, why don't you have cats? My spells are getting really expensive. Aw, just two little kitties that you found? Well, hopefully you're providing them with lots of love. Him. I'm realizing literally every turn we get regen 10. That's absurd. That's so good. 
It's like, okay. Hey, regen 10. I mean, what do you what do you do about that? You can't do anything. I have 50 51 regen. Ahem. And we've got this double stack spreading spores going around too. And full. I can hold the regen. It is too energy to do that every turn, but I mean, are you seeing the regen we're getting out of it? Like assuming, yeah, you are almost killing my champion in one hit because you do 37 damage. But assuming we get a lot of health on our champion, that's amazing. And if we can have a card that buffs health, we would want to see that right now. We don't, we see Adaptive Mutation. We don't need to restore units to full health. We don't need to swap health and damage on the Alpha Fiend. We could, but we don't care. We just want him to have more damage. But if we, if we buff the health of him, we could take a top floor Divinity and then just have him with like 100 health. Why not? We have the energy to play everything now. Well, maybe not everything. Armor 10. Champion gains 100% attack. 10 damage to enemy units when they enter the train. I'll take that. Might kill a unit before it can do anything. And we definitely want Merchant of Magic at the end, so well, why don't we go Merchant of Steel? Because it comes with a Concealed Cavern. Well, we could go to a Hellvent, dupe a card. What, what would we dupe? We don't really need anything. Like, legitimately, we don't really need anything. Removing regen might be acceptable. By regen, I of course just mean restores. Let's see. What do we get? I mean, this is absurd. Okay, our unit... <laughs> unit has now doubled its damage output. Yeah, we just purge the restores. I kind of feel like purging Blazing Bolts. I added the card, but we just don't need it. Like we have damage in Glimmer and then we don't need the random damage from this. Yeah, I'm, I'm purging it. It's too expensive. We've never played it once. 100 HP. Yes. Draw plus one is also really tempting with the cultivation trigger, but it's only one. The thing is, now I would love if we had a third level cultivating champion because this thing would have like 200 HP. Most we can do is 100. And we've got to be careful on the on the divinity, or not the divinity, the seraph fight, because he hits like a freaking truck. No reason to get to 150 either. I'm just looking to win. On boss enemy units get plus eight attack for 400 gold. I think we can do it because we have enough regen. We heal the full every turn. Now they are hitting for like 60, but I think that's fine. A glimmer also solves the problem. And Ascend also solves the problem. We'll do a... Uh, glimmer. And start stacking regen. It's tempting to play the Impish Scholar so that we get the... Uh, double stack every turn, but we don't need it. Hey, we got the gold! Love it. That has to be played. I 
think you're gonna make it up to the pyre, so I think I need to ascend you out of the way so we can smack you. Like, we need to do more damage. This is free. This is more damage on both turns, as opposed to this turn. We do have to do 250 damage to you. We are. Okay, that happened fast. And our deck is thin enough, we're getting these glimmers every turn. No support units are safe. I forgot about the melee weakness that we just added as well. So that's even more damage, okay? Now the multi-strike is killed. I told you we could do it, I told you. I told you we could do it. And it wasn't even really a problem. I should have positioned you to, oh, you, you are dead, good. Play. We want to play this. Stops the multi strike. Wanna play this. Regen 3 is. <sighs> it's not three more turns of damage on him, but. It's effectively half of one turn of damage on him. So I'm going for it. We're slowly getting spikes, which is important. Because we need to be able to uh, kill support units. I'm just entering. But the Glimmer is really doing that, isn't it? Okay. Now, this is where I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, because... Nah. We are going up against Seraph the Patient. But we can always replay the champion if they die, because they are endless. We have options. Get more shards. We, we've already passed that opportunity, because it's just Divine Boons and a hell vent. Like, I don't even think we can get there. 15 plus 10, 25, yeah, no, we'll, we'll be, uh, we'll be 15 short, so I'm not worried. Holdover. A holdover hold magic is pretty good. A holdover razor sharp edge might be a little bit too much. Sting spells get plus 10 magic power in piercing or vine grasp every turn. I mean, we get a sting every turn, so giving them magic power and piercing is not bad. I do think we still want a second unit. We can't play him on the final fight, though. Or on this fight, just in case our champion dies, but... So be it. You know, a holdover branding right could keep the champion alive, because it is... 15 health. But this is also 10 health, well, armor, and damage. Can you apply adaptive mutation to the boss? Nope. Uh, I don't think so. You, it's possible you might be able to do it if you have Nexus Spike, but I doubt it. I doubt it. And I don't really want this every turn, but I think it's good enough. <laughs> Remove consume. We don't have rage, so I don't I don't see it. I think we'll just play it once on a Demon Fiend just to make like another tank, but then we'll dump it. So I think we'll, uh, let's make it free. Uh, maybe make this, maybe make this free. Let's make it free so that it's playable if we need it. 
and then uh, make another restore consume and then we'll purge the other two that we have I gotta sneeze easy kill if applied well you still have to worry about the fact that the boss will do 2,000 damage in a single shot but yeah <laughs> maybe yeah Okay. Dude, our deck is pretty darn heavily upgraded. I love it. And I do think I want another Alpha Fiend. It's going to be a ton of damage on the Divinity fight, assuming we get there. Is there anything that we want to remove? Because we can get the money for it. Nah. Like, everything in our deck is... Pretty much important ish. You're the only boss that could possibly kill me. Even half regen trigger boss, I don't think would be able to kill me. It's you. So, unfortunately, we'll have to try to work around you. The Alpha Fiend is very easily able to kill anything that spawns. The only thing that matters is the fact that you, with your melee weakness, could kill me in one hit. That's the only thing that matters. I could split the units up, but that's an encant, so we're gonna wait. Okay. Taking 62 damage. That's a lot of damage. We need to get the regen going. Sort 20 health after a killing blow. So you're gonna kill him. Not ideal. Um. I mean, we need, we need spreading spores. It's gonna encant you. And I think we also play awake for more regen. This will kill the frontline unit. You're gonna hit me for 66. 68. Okay. Then I think we... We let our impish scholar die because we have wildwood sap coming up. I'll wipe this floor. Smack you. This is the problem. <laughs> but we've got a glimmer, which will kill everyone and leave the melee weakness, which is not what we want. But I, is there another way out? Because we want to take 45 damage from the floor. We can do it. Just one region does it. Now we're taking 45 damage, which means we can actually purge the melee weakness. And that's super important. We never want to see more than one melee weakness at a time. So I think we just play a second one. Now we're healing. You know what? We can heal even more with a single sting. Because you're still going to hit the melee weakness. Okay. Armor on you is fine. We just don't want to apply ar We don't want to kill you by playing a heal on our champion. That would kill us. So everything's looking just fine. Just in case the champion dies, that's why we're not playing the Alpha Fiend yet. We'll just play it on the final wave. I'll play this. We'll play this. Okay. We're living. We have 40 regen. Restores 80 health. That consumes... I don't need old magic. 
So we're at a point where we're healing to full every turn as long as we live. Perfect. Now I could adaptively mutate the Alpha Fiend. I think I will right now just to give him a little bit more health to sustain a blow in case the champion dies. I hope the champion doesn't die, but it is possible with the amount of damage that comes up every turn. It also consumes it. Heal to full. With 55 regen, again, we're healing to full every turn. Now it is important to know how much damage is actually coming in, so we don't accidentally encant to death. So we are currently taking 24, 34, 49, 79. We can, we can encant a couple of times. Oh, right. Hmm. Well. We'll keep that in mind for the future. We don't want to actually play this multiple times, probably. All right. Fair enough. I accept. Didn't know that you were living. How did you live? Huh. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot lately. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll get you going. Now you can start doing some more damage. Although you're not even gonna attack on this turn. Must have just uh, let someone sneak through. We have enough spikes now that these multi-strike units are also dying in one hit, which is nice. Give you some damage. Give you another regen. Give you some armor. Again, you're, you're killing yourself in one hit, so you only do 15 damage, you're not gonna do 45. So just don't encant yourself to death. And for the love of God! Don't die! Don't lose any units, you need them. You need them to live. Okay, end turn. That was very easy. This Alpha Fiend is insanely good. It's so much better than the... Uh... This is a fine enough draw. So much better than the, or the champion is so much better than the one that we had previously, but really, you just need the rejuvenate early to get past the early fights. Cultivation one doesn't cut it. Now you do 11 damage. Our units are technically endless. If they die, they are respawnable with no penalty. So, top floor it is, 10 regen keeps them going for a long time. We can uh, swap their health. Technically, I could play on the middle floor, but then if sentient dot, oh, actually, well, we're gonna kill you before Relentless, so let's just play up here. Like at 100% is gonna happen. Alpha Fiend with four strikes gets 50 damage each turn. Plus five, plus 10, plus 15, plus 20. Well, it gets plus 20 damage every turn, but because it is four strikes, it's actually plus 80 damage every turn, flat. <laughs> Isn't that right? Regardless, it's good. OK. 
Okay, so hold on. We need to... That's three energy, and then we don't have enough energy for the Wildwood Sap. Are we okay with that? Kind of want a Glimmer down here, too. But... I think... I mean, we, we need the Wildwood Sap, right? We're, gu we're guaranteed to draw Glimmer. Nah, that was a bad idea. So, we're gonna be able to heal and kill you guys easily enough. So, maybe we do play the Alpha Fiend and Ascend him and just start stacking up that damage now. You're fine, you're taking seven, who cares? You don't remember what Spiked Collar does? On Slay, unit gets plus two attack. So if, uh, if the champion gets a kill on Glimmer, it gets plus two attack. The Consumed Crown. This is worth it. Okay. Glimmer? <laughs> now you're taking 400. We are definitely killing you very soon. I don't care how much damage you do. Your damage is meaningless. Should have ascended someone and then killed him, honestly. You're gonna be an annoying floor, for certain. You're dying in one hit. I'm gonna do it, but we have to give you the armor. I don't want to give anyone else regen. You give people spikes, so we're gonna to have to worry about you next turn. We do have a glimmer. I mean, it, it is possible someone could die, but we have that holdover armor card we can use. Okay. Everyone's dying. Okay, we gotta work on this. I mean, literally glimmer does it because we're just dying to the spikes. So, that keeps everyone alive. No need to ascend. Now you're taking 466, and we will... If I sting you three times, you're gonna die. So there's one, there's two, third one's next turn. Get the regen going. Could put regen on an Alpha Fiend, and that way they don't need to be healed every turn. It's actually not a bad idea, but again, we have old magic. We can just alternate it. By itself, that is enough to pretty much counteract the boss. I, just, I love watching them just punch their way through the floor. <laughs> There's our Impish Scholar. We've been waiting for you. Give me the sap. Give me the sap. 988 damage incoming, huh? Now I could adaptive mutation and have a 100 health alpha fiend with 20 damage, or I could say, you know what? We're gonna kill you, I think, before the end. Hell, even if you kill my alpha fiends, you still gotta kill my champion. And I don't see that happening. This, and this, and uh, we don't care about the glimmer. We want spreading spores, spores, and you have spikes five. 
Ah, oh, we should have maybe played the Glimmer to kill you, actually, in hindsight. That would have been the smart move. Because now we actually do have to punch through the spikes, which is kind of kind of annoying. Ah, never mind. We got Glimmer. You're dead. Man, these Alpha Fiends were great. <laughs> yeah, each one, it, it buffs its damage by five, right? Yeah, each attack buffs it by five. Each turn that the Alpha Fiend lives and hits, every turn it's gaining 80 damage. That was great. That was great. Alpha Fiend, thank you. For once, we were able to actually make you playable. Oftentimes... Alpha Fiend is a little bit too big and too expensive to really get value out of him, but if you can just stack up the multi-strike, he's pretty good. Put it behind a big tank and let him rip. And I'm glad we ended up having this run after the previous run. I, I like the cultivation sentient. I wanna I want it to be better though. But to me, it, maybe. Maybe the Cultivation Champion is best suited for mixed build. You have spikes early, and then you turn it into Cultivation 1, Cultivation 2 after the, th the third upgrade, and then you can have it start buffing units behind it if you want that build. Or maybe you just want it to be tankier with the spikes. But taking Cultivation initially, man, that's, that's real hard. That's real hard to actually keep it going when it's just buffing train stewards and imps. <laughs> you really do need to have better units. And you can get units pretty quickly, but, you know, first boss can be a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a great filter. Although the boss that we fought was the perfect counter to our build regardless, because it, 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 it was the boss that moved your units around, which I didn't really pay attention to and it's the worst boss I think because it's the only boss that messes up your order and positioning which I think makes it stand out because position positioning is important you want to have tanks you want to have damage dealers you want to have the tanks in front of the damage dealers it does make you think a little bit but there's not a lot of there's not a lot of player gameplay choice in countering that like how do you counter the boss moving your units around you could don't play them but then you Enemies will kill you. <laughs> or you could get things like stings, which allow you to pull your units into position. Not stings. Um, vine grasps. And there's an armor card for Hellhorn, but pretty much that's it. I guess if you're melting, you can respawn your units if they die, if they're units that are capable of being respawned and not being completely neutered. But yeah, I don't, I don't like that boss. In any case, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monster Train.